Hi, Chris Bryan here. What I'd like to demonstrate here and explain is the patterns I'm about to play on my bass drum. And what they are, I refer to them as funkadiddles. And basically funkadiddles are variations on the single paradiddle or the inward paradiddle, the reverse paradiddle and the outward paradiddle. Today I'll be doing variations with the single paradiddle. Now, just so as I make sure everyone knows what I'm talking about, the single paradiddle is a sticking pattern that goes right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, like this. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And what you do is you have an accent at the beginning of each of these groupings of sticking, which is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, which is making sure that the three unaccented notes are very soft, otherwise it tends to sound very clumsy. You know, anyway, up to tempo, the paradiddle is more like, as many of you will know. Now, what I'm going to do is add an extra accent to this single paradiddle. I'm simply going to put a right accent after the left accent. So what was originally right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, will now be right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So it's this, very standard variation of a power angle. Okay, I'm gonna go through that once with my feet, and then I'm gonna follow it with a different sticking pattern, which is right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, which is this. The right hand is doing all the accents and the left hand, there's no accents. So the two patterns put together, you'd have right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left, right, left, which would be So I'm going to be going to be playing that on my bass drums or bass drum and while I'm playing the groove I'll be doing that for four bars. Now on the fourth bar I actually actually change the pattern with my feet and it's sort of a I'll play what it is and then I'll break it down. It's this It is the right hand or the right foot pattern is playing a Latin type rhythm similar to like a Cascara or a Mozambique, like one, two, three, four. And my left hand, or in, when I do it, do it on the drum kit, my left foot fills in the space. So you get ba da 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 Now to funk it up a bit, which uses what I call funkadiddles, I'm going to put a left hand between two of the double rights. Now there's there's uh, da, 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 there's I think four double rights in this. I something I feel rather than count. But let me think. I'll show where the double right where the left hand goes between the double rights. Is this? This time, now. So once through without the extra left hand between the double right, and once through with the left hand between the double right. So the whole four bar pattern with my feet will be this. And the reason for it is, is so as you get away from the usual 
16th notes with your feet, like this on the bass drum. Because the rhythm I'm playing is essentially the 16th notes. With the exception of those, but luck, but luck, those three stroke roughs, those groups of three, with the exception of those which are 32nd notes, all the rest are 16th notes. And that this, this, this sort of approach to playing your double bass drum gives you a totally different feel to playing double bass drum in songs because unfortunately when you're doing this on your feet duba 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 da it limits uh, what you're doing limits how there's a limit to how many styles of music you can use that in because it's just so overpowering in many styles particularly of rock drumming it's perfect and you wouldn't want to change it but the sort of other areas of music, whether it be Latin stuff or African stuff or funk, whatever, where you can use those rhythms as long as you put some accents into it. Otherwise, there's no room for the bass player because the, um, you fill up all the notes. So, yeah, so that's what these examples of the bass drum patterns I'm playing are all about. Just to give you guys some ideas of how to use your double bass drum pedals or double bass drums, bass drums and maybe a different way and approach to what you've used to been doing. And I hope that you enjoy them. And I mentioned briefly that I refer to this as Funkadiddles. Uh, Funkadiddles are li literally, in my world, uh, variations on single, the single, the inward, the reverse, and the outward paradiddle. And these are all thoroughly explained, explained in my book, Progressive Rhythms. I go through them thoroughly in my DVD, Independence Part 2, A Giant Step. And I'll briefly explain one of them now. I'll take the single paradiddle, which is this. To turn it into a single funk fiddle, I simply add a right accent after the left accent. And then what I do is put a left hand between the double right. If I slow that down, single power diddle. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Bring in the extra right accent after the left. Making sure keep all the notes soft, which you're not accenting, otherwise it will sound clumsy. And then between the double right, I put a left hand, which turns it into the single funky needle. And for this group of three, double da da da, I'm making it a little bit louder. So you've got the accents of the loudest notes, then the group of three, which is actually a three-stroke rough, is a bit. Is the, is the second loudest notes, or are the second loudest notes, I should say. And then the unaccented notes are the softest notes. That's a single funky diddle. There's also an inward funky diddle, a reverse funky diddle, and an outward funky diddle. Again, they're all explained thoroughly in my book, Progressive Rhythms, and also in my DVD, Independence Part 2, A Giant Step. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, email me at chris at chrisbrown.com. Otherwise, just keep enjoying drums because it's the greatest instrument on the planet. Thanks, guys. See you later.